Today, we'll be creating or launching a Linux instance on Amazon Light Sail. So let's get started. Hello everyone, welcome to AWS Daily with Ukeme. Amazon Lightsail is a platform as a service on AWS. It is a virtual private server. So Amazon Lightsail is the easiest way to get started with AWS. So as usual, you come into Amazon Lightsail landing page. You basically have to sign in through your AWS console and search for Amazon Lightsail. So we're on here, we have instances. You need to create a new instance. Click on the instance. Now we, you have to select your instance location. So at the moment, my instance location is London. So this is the closest um, availability zone close to me. So you need to select uh, an, a, a location that is close to, you to prevent issues of latency so london is close to me that's eu eu west 2 you can change your availability zone from here uh i'm going to stick with the default and at this time we need to pick an instance so you have an option to pick uh, a linux instance or a windows instance so we would pick linux uh so in terms of blueprints you have apps plus os you can either install apps together with the OS, depending on what you want to do, or just the OS. Uh, we'll go deep into this in later uh, tutorials. So at this point, uh, you have WordPress, you have LAMP, you have main, the main stack, you have the Nginx, you have uh, GitLab, Django, there's a lot, cPanel, you know, depending on what you want to achieve. So at this point, we just want to run a basic Linux instance, just the OS. So you click on OS. Uh, Amazon Linux 2, let's do Amazon Linux 2. We'll cover Ubuntu, CentOS, and SUSE, all the other tutorials. But for now, it's the basics, just Amazon Linux 2. That's the machine image we're using. Um, We have an option to launch a script. And we can also create an SSH key, key pair to connect with uh using SSH. So we, let's let's do this. Um, default key we can create a new key. So we create this new key for that availability zone. Okay, we can call this Linux. Skywalker Linux, name it anything you want. Skywalker Linux. Okay, generate key pair. All right, you can only download this private key once. So we download that, got it? Uh, enable automatic snapshots. We don't need that because this is like an experimental case. Okay, so it's Linux. We have these options. It's cheaper than Windows. So we have uh, we have this for $3, $3.5. Uh, it gives us 20 gig. Um, we have the $5 option. It gives us 1 gig of RAM. We have the $10 option. It gives us 2 gig of RAM. I think 2 gig of RAM is, is faster. So let's use this for experimental purposes. Um, and it's fine your Linux instance, we have to give it a name so we can basically just call this Skywalker underscore Amazon Linux. Right? We want to create one instance of that. So keys, we can call this Cloud Ops uh, Virtual Machine. So these are key only tags. These are tags that we use to organize our billing and understand what resources is used in what type of instance. So we create instance. All right. So our Skywalker Amazon Linux instance is open. It's being provisioned right here. You see pending. So we'll give it a while to for it to 
provision. Okay, so we have this running. We have our Skywalker Amazon instance running. We can connect to it. All right, so we have our instance running. So if we do LS, there's nothing running here. We can check information about this computer by doing sudo uname dash a. And then we can do uh, cat et etc slash os dash release. Okay, so we now we see the name of this is a OS is a Amazon Linux version two ID AMZN, uh ID like is CentOS, Pharrell, and Fedora. Um all the information we need, you know, about this computer is basically here. So we can do LS, we can do CD back back, go back to directory LS to see what's here. So it's the EC2 user, that's what we're on. So CD back back, LS, let's just see what's here. So this is where we now have the root directory for this Linux system. So that's basically it. We can CD back to the main directory, we do LS. Nothing. So we're back to where we started. So what we can do now is we, you can basically install applications and do what you want, but this is what we want for now. Okay. So that's it for today. Uh, thank you.